I made an app that allows you to submit your resume and to create a resume that will actually get you past the resume filter at big tech jobs. So many talented people, engineers, are just skillful in their own right into their own domain. But when it comes to resumes, well, it's a skill in itself. Resume building and generating a good resume that gets approved by a recruiter or makes it past the filtering is tough. And it's not something you can just spin out in an hour. It takes time to craft, especially now with the current economy and just the way the world is. It's incredibly difficult and it's a shame that so many people are just getting blocked on the resume stage. So we took care of that problem for you. So I've been working on a little project for the past couple of months now with some people over at my Discord link in the description below on an app that really helps individuals make their resume just better and stand out more to make it more attractive, make it more modern and make it more impactful so when a recruiter or even just a screener gets your resume your likelihood of getting past are way higher and i actually tested this out just a few weeks ago i had a stream live over at twitch.tv slash melky where i had over 77 resumes and we put those 77 resumes through the ringer where we reviewed them as a chat i gave my opinion but i also put some resumes some inputs into the app called resuai.io and well i think a lot of people were pretty impressed with the capabilities of the application so let's say you go in here and you want to put in your full name so you're going to fill out the details for the forms and then you're going to submit and generate the results so you can see here i put in my information it saved it okay that's cool but you can go here into the education you can see i had one for stanford but if i remove it i can just add another education save the changes and you can do the same for the work projects and skills sections so far so let's go ahead and just input some fields just so we can get you know the resume to be fluffed up and to look a little bit more full save the changes so now we have a nice little education section let's go to our work experience here and this is where i think some of the true magic of resu ai really shines so hold on so let's say you work at a company called google you're a software engineer let's just go stanford ca and then let's just pick any day let's just use the one that's here 2502 2021 and let's say you currently work there all right so i'm actually gonna take a bullet point from one of the resumes which of course were made anonymous that i got that i said needs a bit more oomph in the delivery so we're gonna go here to add a job responsibility and we're gonna paste designed mobile experience using expo and react native and let's just save the changes and this is good i mean this this looks great right like design mobile experience using expo and react native i mean it's not terrible it's not bad really but it's not great there could be so much more that we could do with it and if you want to add more bullet points we can just click this plus here and you can add another bullet point into your work description so i went ahead and added two more points one that says wrote several of the ui designs and wrote unit tests for internal pipelines now again there's nothing innately bad about them but can you do better? Can we do better? So if we go for the first point, the design mobile experience using Expo and React Native, there's a button here that says generate, and this is where the Resu AI comes in. The AI that's specifically been trained to provide better verbiage and to really deliver impact, the story behavior impact for these bullet points. So go ahead and click generate and bang. Now the new description is developed and implemented in innovative mobile experiences using Expo and React Native, resulting in enhanced user engagement engagement and improved overall user satisfaction for Google's mobile application. I want to accept that. So we're going to go ahead, accept, save changes, and already that's looking better. Let's try one more time. Let's generate, design and implement intuitive user interface for various Google products, ensuring seamless user experience and driving increased user engagement. I like the sound of that. Let's add it to my resume. And it's just already, it's looking better. And this AI design principle is integrated into the education section. It's integrated into the project sections here. You can see generate under education. If you add education description, you can let it reword your, you know, whatever description you want to add. So there's lots of things that this AI can do to improve your resume verbiage. And one more time, we did it for the unit test on the pipeline. And there you go, develop a comprehensive unit test for Google's internal pipeline ensuring the reliability and stability of the software infrastructure and minimizing the risk of potential bugs or error 
I like all of that. It's already a better resume. It already looks so much cleaner, so much snazzier. All right, Melky, I hear you probably saying it makes my resume, you know, sound better and it, add, it adds buzzwords, but I don't like the way this template looks. I don't think it looks nice. Can you do something about it? Yes, actually we can and we did. So if you head over back, there's actually a little section called choose a template. So you can go ahead and click this and you have the selection of four very unique hand-picked resumes that are currently the hottest trending ones in the software engineering category or industry. So the default one is resume template one, but let's say you want to use the second or even third one. You can click select. It's going to load the resume and then bang, it's going to recreate the resume using this new template. And we can do it one more time for even the third one. We're going to click select and then bang. Now we have the resume looking even nicer. So this tons of stuff that you can do. And if you want to make a new resume, let's say you want to make another one, you want to separate your applications to Netflix or Facebook, we can go into creator resumes and you can actually add a new resume. It will create one for you. And the last thing I want to show here are the orders. Let's say you don't want to add a project section. Well, you can just hide it and remove it. Or let's say you want to put work experience above education. Well, here, these actually move and you can bring it upwards. And now work is above education and you can freely move these around how you feel to give you more customization and flexibility into your resume and how you build it. And once you're ready with the app, you can have two options. You can download the resume as LaTeX. You can import that into another LaTeX editor and go nuts at it. Or you can just download it as a PDF. We make it so easy for you. You can click yes, you now have it, the resume, you spin it up and bang, there you go, ready to be used, ready be to submit to the application or to the job that you want. And it's nice and we handle all the hard work. All you have to do is press a couple of buttons and bang, you have a stellar resume that's ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a very cool app that I'm proud to have been able to work on and create and it's, you know, free to use. Like I said, there's no, there's nothing behind it. There's no, we don't collect any emails. We don't collect any information. All this is stored on your local storage. There's no database, no nothing like that. There's no, you know, premium subscription. It's free to use AI and just make your resumes better because we want you to get hired. Like I said in the previous videos, the job market right now is absolutely hectic. Some resumes of skilled people just aren't there yet because resume making in itself is a skill and we're here to help you out with it. But I gotta leave you guys with two things. One is, what do you think of the app? Do you like it? Will you use it? Do you have anything that you can help us make it better? And two, you gotta power it.